Greetings and welcome back, one and all, to Pillars of Eternity, where our group of adventurers can hear something rattling beyond this door. Oh, it's a locked door as well. Hmm. I think now would probably be one of those times to use a camp. Yes. Let's camp. Camper will use one of our supplies. Let's rest. We need Aloth to have his uh, abilities back, because if we're going to be fighting in a doorway, I want him to be able to cast that uh, awesome level one spell. Wow! Main keep construction complete! Huzzah! Fantastic! Let's check on this. Uh, nothing new to report. Main keep constructed complete. Hour four. What hour is it now? Hour twelve. Really? Man, we've wasted like eight hours. It must have been just ready to complete before we slept. Ah, oh, so annoying. So, so very annoying. <laughs> okay, well, uh, all right. Now, the next thing we can work on, we've got 5,000 copper. We can go for the Western Barbican, the Bright Hollow Restoration, which is the inn of sorts. We've got the main keep, so we can uh, have visitors and adventurers be able uh, available to you and your companions. Uh, we go for the library, which will give us a bonus when we rise to Bright Hollow. A barracks, allow us to employ hirelings to defend the stronghold during attacks. It will take two days. When are we going to be attacked? Three days, 19 hours. So we've only got really time for one... Well, we would have had time for two things if we hadn't wasted so much time. Oh, so frustrating. Um... We could go, where is the dungeon? We could go for the dungeon. Two days to get that up and running. And the merchant store. Purchasing the merchant store will allow for merchants to sell general goods in your great hall. We could perhaps get both of those done. Might be nice. I don't think anything else is available. Oh, we do actually have some more things. The Warden's Lodge. That would give us uh, a survival skill bonus. And I think bounties as well. No, we're going to be going for... Gonna we'll be going for the dungeons and then the merchant stores, as provided we don't waste any more time. But uh, there we go. I have received a comment on previous videos saying, "Don't worry about the dungeons," but I like the idea of having extra interaction options open to us right now. Lindur. Oh, well done. That was easy. Really, is that it? Just two people. Okay. All right, Eder, hey. you're up. Uh, yes. With such a small area, we're gonna need you with your gun. Hey. Either what is your best weapon for taking on these guys? Crushing, la uh, crushing lash, fine. Or convert grace to hit, draining, fine. You know what? Either go, go ahead. Let's get you into position. And de stealth. Ah, oh, scallywag! Just as someone else showed up. Move out of the way. Right now, now either you get in position. Right, Aloth. Time for you to use your awesome spells. One right there would be good. Oh, really? You can't see it? What? That'll do. Right. You can stay to the side since you can't really get involved. Glinder attack. Durance attack. Kana attack. And Aloth, as soon as... Oh, actually. Sigani attack as well. As soon as... Oh, wow. You destroyed him. I guess I shouldn't be too surprised. It is just a human skeleton. You use some pretty awesome abilities there. There we go. Now use your general spells on them. Oh dear. Oh no, really? I think he's trying to interact with the door. It's quite frustrating. Use your spell there then. There we go. Eater, pull back a little bit please. Let them through. Okay, they're wizards. Okay, let them through. Hey. Really? You scallywag, you. Alright, drop this right there, please. Okay. And then everyone who can fire at range, go for the skeletal ranger. Is that it? I think it is. Oh no, wow, really? The wizard just appeared in the middle of us. Drat. No, don't walk on that stuff. I said no. You're all mad. Every single one of you. Aloth was almost dead. That was meant to be an easy fight. Follow Clearly, you. you guys did not mm -hmm. get the memo. You gads. Really, we've only just rested. We're going to have to rest again soon. Well, that did not go as planned. Not at all. I shall be discreet. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's have a poke around in here. Let's make sure what we can find. We've got something here. Okay, club and some money. What have we got down here? 
Ooh. Fine scale mail. Sure, we'll put it there. We'll check out people's armor later on. And a Valoon. Okay. Ooh. Skeletal fighter. Okay. Right then. Let's get everyone involved. Hey. Once again, it's more or less exactly the same fight stance. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Yes. Are there any other things in there? Oh, too late. There we go. Everyone, please destroy. Also, Glindu, given that angle, you can probably just attack. There we go. Everyone over here, please. This formation is causing me quite a lot of problems with positioning people, it seems. I might have to adjust it. I could use a chant right now, but given how close it was to being dead, I didn't see the point. But we do need to change this formation, I think. Let's bring Glindur a little bit less far away. Hey. This way, when Glindur yes. isn't selected, it's not going to be quite as I crazy. Shall. Ah, there we go. All right, not too bad. All right, well, that was a fairly easy fight compared to the others, my lord. Right then, let's get outside. Now, how much of this map have we uncovered at this point? Oh, we've uncovered a fair bit. We've got, well, more or less half, actually. It's not too bad. Uh, could you please let's be stealth? See what lies this way. Yes, indeed, let's. Please let it not be terrible, terrible things that want to kill us. Not that they have succeeded yet, but they came bloody close with Adolf just now. Uh, I'll take that. Now, once again, let's uh, get Glindur ready to explore by himself. Indeed. Anything in here? Tippy toes. Okay, we've got. Oh, we can talk to you. Eon. Have we got anything about an Eon in our journal? Uh, no. Doesn't seem to be anything in there. Okay. Well, uh, Eon, I'll chat Hello, with you. Friend. Ooh, what just happened there? Damn it! I've just skipped over something. Well, that's annoying. I was trying to de-stealth. I do apologize. After a moment, however, he smiles weakly. Hello there. Wasn't expecting any visitors down in these parts. He glances around the dim room. Damn it, I don't know what it was there. I imagine I'll be able to read it in the editing, because it was on screen for just a fraction of a second. I'll just be able to pause it and read it. But uh, I recommend you do the same, but you're going to have more information whilst I'm going through this conversation than I do. Right. What are you doing down here? What can you tell me about the catacombs? Have you seen a woman named Rowena? Uh, yeah, let's go with that one. Eon shakes his head. Sorry, but I don't know anyone by that name. I know I'm not the only one down here, however. I hear voices, now and then, from across the canal. Sounds like it's coming from the northwest. Alright, thank you very much, Eon. Eon nods in greeting. Anything else I can do for you? Um, can you tell me anything about these catacombs? He smiles wryly. Haven't explored too much of it, to be honest. Got lucky finding this little corner of it, but uh, let me think. Well, the canal there, that's Gorgon's Canal. Gorgon was the dwarf that planned the whole thing. It runs up through Ondra's gift, spills out into the sea uh, into the sea there. Otherwise, it's just a lot of bones. There's the warrens, for people that couldn't afford better, but it's all flooded now. The fancier folks, they have their own resting places down here. Drier places. The dukes of the Deerwood are down here, actually, if you want to pay your respects. Uh, hmm, might that have a statue? They might have a statue around, like, a ducal grave. What are you doing down here, Eon? Ooh. Eon grimaces. I've been a little down on my luck lately. I didn't have anywhere to stay, so I thought I'd come down here. Nobody pokes around in the catacombs much. Well, not until you, anyway. Uh, okay, well, a sad tale, but not the whole story, I think. What are you hiding? The Orlan looks away, clearly agitated. I'm just trying to get by. There's nothing else to it, and if that isn't to your liking, there's a whole lot of catacombs out there for you to have all to yourself. We could call him out on it and say, you make a poor liar. If you tell me, perhaps I can help. 
Answer my question while you still have teeth in that lying mouth. I'm not leaving until you speak the truth. Or, and here I thought, we could hole up in here together and share stories. Fine, let's talk about something else. Uh, no. I'm... Well, I think that's a bit too sarcastic. It's almost confrontational. Not quite, but it is sarcastic. That... That is a confrontational, but it's just not very aggressive. This is just flat-out aggressive. That's possibly neutral. It's just an observation. Whereas this... I mean, it's offering help. I think Glindor would be the type to offer help to someone who, who seemed down on their luck. Yeah, we'll go with that. If you tell me, perhaps I can help. Jorn op opens his mouth to snap something. His hand balls into fists. But he thinks better of it. He shakes his head slowly, expression resigned. Jorn sighs heavily. Very well, it's true. I've been hiding from the knights down here. But it isn't what you think. He ducks his head. It, it was an accident. Oh dear, what did you do, Eon? It's been hard for me, here in Defiance Bay. I suppose I thought if I got involved in city business, if I made the right friends, it would get easier in time. And it did, really. I made a name for myself, a place. People actually listen to me when I talk. Well, they used to. People can get very passionate about uh, about these things. Oh wait, is Eon the, the guy from the inn? Eon could be the fellow from the inn. We were discussing, I think it was, shipping agreements. Of all the things to fight over. But this one night, this man, he got very angry. I think maybe he'd had a little too much at the inn. Eon pauses. And I guess he didn't like an Orlan talking back to him. Yes, that's it. This must have been what it was. Eon at the... Right, okay, that's interesting. So he was the proprietor, and he'd set up the... Basically, a, a speakeasy in a way. Um, where anyone could come and, and, and enter into debate. But someone didn't like what he was saying, was a bit too drunk. And what happened, Eon? Did you get into a fight? I struck him. He came toward me, and I hit him. And he went over like a tree. I guess he struck his head on the way down. Eon lowers his gaze. Shrugs helplessly. Turns out he was a knight. Oh dear. The Crucible Knights won't care how it happened. They just want me gone. They won't let me live long enough to see the rope. Please. He looks at you with pleading expression. I just want to get out of the city. The second I can get money for passage, I, I won't trouble anyone again. I swear it. I'll li live quietly, but you can't. Please, you can't tell them I'm here. Well, as you say, Eon, it wasn't exactly your fault. He came at you, you reacted. He was too drunk to brace himself when he fell. Though you're not completely blameless, but I can't say you're, you're the... It seems six of one and half a dozen of the other, really, and it was just fate that dealt the other guy the worst hand. Your secret is safe with me, Eon. We could go with that. Give 300 copper, okay. Here, this should be enough to buy you passage out of Defiance Bay. Well, you know, if as he says is true, and, and I could believe it, the Crucible Knights won't care how it happened. You know, you, you kill one member of, of, an, of a knight order, and the rest are probably not going to care too much about what actually was involved. They will more than likely want to preserve the honour of their order even if that might mean that it goes against the truth. And at the end of the day, these mo these were smith uh, smiths and stuff like that, hence the Crucible Knights. They're not exactly following a god whose tenants might demand that they uphold justice. You're coming with me. You'll face the Duke's justice on the matter. That reward's worth more than your sorry life. No, 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 no. Attack! Justice demands you pay for your misdeeds. No, I'm... Fairly certain that Glindu wouldn't believe that he's in the wrong. I'm. It's one of these two, I think. Glindu would would have, as a wanderer, would understand that sometimes you know things just go badly, and it's no one's fault. But not everyone will see it that way. But I mean, this is a really sorry state for a yawn to be in. He's basically hiding in the catacombs. How on earth is he going to get the money together for it? Ah. Uh, I mean, we are relatively rich compared to these people, so... 
I mean, 300 copper is not much for Glyndor. Still, it's 300 copper, but we'd effectively be turning into an accomplice here, but I am actually... I really do feel that Glyndor would be aiming for this, so I'm... I'm I'm leaning towards believing that Glyndor would, would offer him some money and just say, look, try and get out of here. It was it was a, a horrible situation, no matter on which side you were, just bad luck that it ended the way it did. And he said he'd live a quiet life. I, I, from what we've seen, I don't think Gly, Glyndor would believe that Eon was a bad person, so yeah, I think Glyndor would help. So here, yeah, this should be enough to buy you passage out of Defiance Bay. Eon stares at you in disbelief, but but this is... His face twists as he struggles for words. They said you were a kind soul, but I wouldn't have imagined. This will see me out of the city and well away. I'm not sure I could ever thank you enough, but here, take this. I hope it's some use to you on your journey. You have my lasting gratitude, friend. I... I should get ready. Addendum added. A voice from the past. Okay, let's see uh, that addendum. Uh, in the catacombs, I found an Orlan named Eon. Oh, here we are. The Crucible Knights are calling for the arrest of an Orlan man named Eon. Apparently, he's eluded capture thus far, though the Knights continue to hunt for him. In the catacombs, I found an Orlan named Eon who was hiding from the Crucible Knights. He was trying to scrape up enough money to leave to find Bay. I gave him enough coin to buy passage out of the city. He thanked me and told me that he would never forget my kindness. Okay, well, this must have been the initial thing, but I've already decided on it, I guess. All right, well, uh, I met an old man, Eon, down in the catacombs. He told me he's being hunted by the Crucible Knights for a crime of murder. He's trying to flee Defiance Bay, but doesn't have enough pans to get out of the city and has begged me to keep his secret long enough. Well, we did better than, than that. Party gained 1,200 EXP. Very nice indeed. Uh, that's all been completed very well. Now, did he give me something? Yes, he did. Rabbit fur gloves. Of crit multiply bonus plus 10%. You get. Yeah, so plus 0.1 to crit damage multiplier. Rabbit fur gloves appeared in Adirian fables and bedtime stories for hundreds of years, typically as lucky gifts to individuals of particular virtue. The gloves were first mentioned in Bedtime Story about a girl who, in the midst of a fa uh, famine, gave a piece of fruit to an elderly crone. The old woman, in turn, gave rabbit fur gloves to the girl, and though it was summer, she accepted them graciously. She wore them and managed to forge an uh, forage enough to feed her family, and a few short seasons later, she became a hunter of uncanny skill. In other stories, the gloves are given to brave warriors, hard-working servants, and honest shopkeepers. The last story to mention the gloves is that of a notorious pickpocket, Sandoran, who lost them when he stole an apple from a wizened crone. Really? The same crone? Oh, you fool! Everyone knows you shouldn't just randomly do bad things to crones. They're always witches. Although the gloves appear to be sewn from the fur of different rabbits, there is no detectable seam between the many coloured pelts. They're soft and cosy, yet when you put your hands in them, your fingers feel quick and nimble. A rabbit's foot dangles from the left glove, and their natural warmth suggests the presence of essence. Fantastic. I like it. These will be a very nice addition to uh, Glyndur's awesome weapons there. Getting a little bit more crit on that. I like it in a lot, honestly. And there's plenty of other things in here. Okay, let's uh, have a read. The smoldering fire is strewn with the meagre remains of a recent meal. Fish bones, a moulded rind of cheese, and a blackened bread crust. Over here, the wobbly little tent is barely standing. Oh, poor old Yawn. He wasn't living in uh, luxury down here, that's clear. The queen that was and still is. We'll uh, tuck that away in our satchel. And... Aha! Oh, that's fantastic! That is quite grand. We've just replaced the camping supplies we used up earlier. Fantastic. Yes. Okay, well, uh, we've got a little ways to go. Let's uh, enter look. back into stealth mode and have a poke around. What do we have over here? Anything? Any horrible things? No? All okay? Really? Oh, that's rather uneventful. Okay, well, there's uh, plenty on the other side of the bridge that we can check out. These stairs, for example. Let's uh, go and check these out. 
We were told that there's voices towards the north west, which I can only assume is going to be up here then. Now, at this point, well, we'll get up onto the ledge, I think, and then Glindor can move I'm here. stealthily. It's just Glindor at this point. Anything in here? What is this place? I have no idea. Memorials. Uh, yeah, these will be back on memorials. I do like that they've spread them out throughout the game rather than just all just in one place. It's kind of cool. Oh, there's something over there. Ooh. This, uh, this is trapped. Haha. -ha! I suspected it would be. Okay. Oh, that was a five difficulty trap. That was a fair chunk of EXP. And braces of spiritual power. Spell damage multiplier. Okay. Plus 10% spell damage. That sounds amazing for Aloth. Let's get that down to you straight away. Gloves Gaunters and Braces of a variety of benefits and such things. All right, let's uh, quickly equip those to Aloth. Have you got anything there? No. If I place that there, do you have anything else which gives you spell multiplier? I don't think you do. I don't think you do at all. That's actually pretty useful then. That's just a fine scepter. Okay. Well, I'm pretty happy with that. We should be able to double check it by seeing if he has that. Yep. Yeah, plus 10% spell damage. Wonderful. Mm. That was very much worth checking out. Now, I'd actually prefer you guys to be hey. a little bit closer. Thanks. Yes. Oh, okay. We've got black ooze down there. All right. Good to know. I shall. Let's see, what else can you find, Glindur? There's a few odds and sods in the walls. Yeah, we'll take those. Take those lockpicks too. And one last room, I take it. Yeah, I thought I saw some steps. Okay, let's see. Uh, is this one trapped? This? <laughs> ha ha! I'm learning your ways, game. Ooh, fine male armor. Oh, it's just fine. We'll just pop that into the chest then. We've already got some of that. All right, that wasn't actually a bad haul, all things hey. considered. Now, we won't going to want to take out that black ooze, I think. But let's uh, move slowly down these stairs. There may be bigger black oozes. They seem to all be in groups. No, nothing. Okay. Nothing at all, really. All right. Well, uh, either hey. go ahead and attack. Then yes. everyone else charge in as well. Right, okay. Either hits Let's Black Ooze for 15 crush damage. Okay, and that's it. That was remarkably easy. I wasn't really expecting much from that battle, honestly. I'll take that. The whole group can continue moving on. Oh, no, 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 no. Move in stealth, please. Okay, nothing over there. All right, we've uh, done a good job of exploring this area, I think. I'm here. Let's get down there and also check out what's in here. We've got a Jasper, two Jaspers, actually. Right, how much of this place have we explored? Oh, I thought it was going to crash then. I was about to weep. Okay, we've actually got quite a lot to go still. Very well. Let's make a little bit of progress down here, but we should probably start moving a little bit more slow. Oh, yes. Um, hmm? Is there anything else behind it? Never mind. We've got its attention. Trap. Really? Hey, hmm? everyone involved. There we go. We should be able to kill it very quickly. And there we go. Very nice. We've got a hundred percent in the uh, black ooze bestiary, and it's dead. That's not so great. Of course. Oh, there's another one. Let's go I'll back into stealth. Mm -hmm. Okay, we've got two. Oh, that's great. Um, either mm -hmm. let's get you up there. I'm fairly certain you can take on both. I'll just drag them all in, and everyone against this one. There we go. We should very easily be able to take it down. And that one's down. Everyone on this one. I'm not going to use up my abilities here. Even the, well, 
even the ones that you can use every combat, it would actually seems would, it, it would take us longer to activate the ability than it would for us to just wear down the opponent. So uh, let's get you all together again. Slow and silent. Indeed. Well said, Sigani. Oh, another one. Okay. Let's all get involved. Probably shouldn't have had Glindur tanking there. That was a bit silly. Overconfident is what that was. I'm here. There we go. And we've got some snow cap. Very well. Oh, is this the room that we were at? Yes, it is. Which is not very Okay, we've explored all of this side. It is time to get back over there. Ooh. Viscous foul smelling sludge ebbs in the trench. That is not so nice to see. Okay, what have we got down here? Got a gate. Alright, well, there's only really one way for us to go, it seems. Let's move slowly in small bursts forward. Oh, here we are. There's a door. What have we got? Is there much in here? Yes, there is. I'll grab all of that. And, ooh. Um... You know what? I always spend so much time scanning every part of this area. I'm fairly certain there's a way up there, is there? Or was I wrong? No, no, it does actually look like there's still more to the cave here. Hmm. No, I... Th no, we're gonna, we're gonna break with tradition. I'm gonna be a bit compulsive. I, I think we've seen enough of this level. It's probably just going to be more mushrooms or something like that. Let's uh, head down because my game of sense is telling me that our goal is going to lie on the lower levels. It wouldn't make too much sense for it to be on the upper levels. This is where, of course, my game of sense is completely wrong and I make a fool of myself. Uh, let's have a poke around, shall we? Oh, the music has changed. I'm fairly certain that we've found a new area. Ah! My... God, that scared the dickens out of me. Oh, my heart is beating harder right now. Older robed man, in front of you looms the ghostly hollow image of a man who was present at your awakening. He casts a pale, sickly light in the dank corridor as he regards you. Oh, we're wearing that mask. Did this trigger because we're wearing the mask? You are from Kratom, my boy. Okay. His words are an echo in your mind from a long time, uh, long, a uh, time long past, and you know your response before you speak it, as if he, it has always been. I came, came to live there years ago, only recently. Um. Hmm. Yeah, we've got a choice. I'm gonna go with. I came to live there years ago. A remarkable city. Truly one of the most impressive we have encountered outside of our own. Many exceptional people who have joined our cause come from Kratum. Okay. What made you decide to join our order? Ooh, okay. Your teacher spoke to me. The world needs to know about the true gods. The gods have been good to me and I wish to repay them. I went through dark times, nothing made sense. That all changed when your order came to my homeland. I saw the gods grant miracles to your order. I'm honestly not sure. Well, that's what I'm thinking, but what would, what is our past self? Uh, we're going to go with this one. It seems a little bit more interesting. We w went through dark times. Nothing made sense. That all changed when your order came to my homeland. Little makes sense in the false context much of the world has lived under for so long. It is by the mercy of the gods that our faith has been able to reach so many of the heathen in more recent times. I see. Are you ready to take the oath? To spread the word of the gods to the lost and heathen. I am, for I have no choice. Ow! Pillars, why are you so loud? I'm here. My goodness. Okay, well, uh, that wasn't what I was expecting at all. Hello? I'm a little bit concerned now that I may have gone too far. Perhaps I... Is this the catacombs? Let's just check this. this is... Okay, we have gone too far. Hmm. <laughs> okay. I. My game of sense lied to me. I'm fairly certain my game of sense lied to me. I. 
I don't think we're meant to be there. Maybe we are, maybe we're not, but I don't think we are. <laughs> I am going back up. I shall. We are going to finish off this layer. I shouldn't have gone against tradition. I know better than to go against tradition. Tradition is a tradition because it good and makes sense right in the next episode we're going to explore the remainder of this level and in honestly probably head back down those stairs to a great and loud and terrible sound that will make me jump out of my skin once again but that will be for another episode i do hope you've enjoyed this one and will be joining me for the next but until then and as always do take care